how to kettlebell curl, how to curl with a kettlebell. It's usually frowned upon in the kettlebell community to curl with a kettlebell, but that has changed since we started promoting it several years ago. Especially since we've been including it a lot more in our workouts. Curling is functional, okay? So curling used to be associated with hypertrophy and bodybuilders and poses. Get rid of that idea. Curling is very functional. Pull-ups, uh, lifting things, groceries, you're curling. So get rid of that idea that curling is not functional. It is. And so is strength training. Strength training is very important too. So let's get started. Let's dive into it. First of all, uh, curling with a kettlebell is different than curling with a barbell or a dumbbell. It is harder because you're involving your wrist joint a lot more. So the design of the kettlebell is obviously also very different and the weight is at a different angle. So with a barbell or a dumbbell, the weight is here above your forearm. With the kettlebell, the weight is here hanging back. So all this uh, provides challenges, but if you know what you're doing and you're gonna watch this video and pay attention to all the grips and the positions that you need to be in to curl safely, then you're gonna be fine and you're gonna have a lot of fun curling. I'm gonna start with the simplest one and the one I like to do a lot. And it's also great for people that uh, don't know how to clean the kettlebell. They can bring the weight up by curling. So that would be with a squat and curl. Right there. Now you rack the weight and then you can stand up. I love this movement. It's really great. You're loading and unloading that squat at the bottom here. So right now it's unloaded. Now I'm gonna load it. Good rack and stand up. It's hard to get out of that squat. And negative curl. Okay, so that's my favorite. Now, the main thing here is hand insertion. Very important. If you download the uh, Master Kettlebell Grips, the free PDF that's been downloaded 50,000 times or more from my website already, you will see the grips that I'm talking about in this video and the grip that we don't want to see, which is the broken wrist grip. So you can't place the kettlebell in your fingers here. Then you get the kink in the wrist here. The moment that you slide that hand in, that handle is over your wrist here and you don't have to do a lot of work with the wrist. So that's what's happening here. And then I curl my fingers in, which is what I named the Gorilla Grip, right here. And then you curl it up a lot easier. So grip is number one. Now, another thing I need to say, curling with kettlebells, uh, a, a thing that's different is um, there's a lot of rotation in the forearm. So you gotta be conditioned for that as well. So when you start with this, with curling, you gotta be prepared for all these different things and keep it in mind. So rotation here. During the movements, you will take note of it and you'll see, oh yeah, that's what he was talking about, the wrist rotation. And that's something that you don't do in your everyday life as well. So don't go, oh, I feel injured and curling is not good. No, you didn't pay attention to what I said and you went too heavy and you didn't progress properly. Wrist rotation right here, the forearm rotation is not something you do a lot, especially with weights and not with uh, a dumbbell or a barbell, especially not with a barbell. So keep that in mind as you go through all these things. Okay, so we just did a squat and curl. I call it a squat dead curl because the weight is dead on the ground. Now you can do two kettlebells and curl two kettlebells up. You want to get a good rack and back down. You don't want your back to move at all. You only want your elbows to move. Uh, make sure you download Master Kettlebell Racking and that will uh, show you 
how to back properly. I'm not going to get into that, but that's a whole topic on its own. Download Master Kettlebell Grips, Master Kettlebell Racking, and you're on your way to staying safe. Okay, it's all free by the way. So we've just done a squat. Now I'll move to an, a new position, which is seated. So as you're squatting, you're using your back a lot and you're using the muscles in your legs. If you're seated, you're taking those things out, but you're working more at the front here to pull yourself forward. And curl. Nice and controlled. All the way in. You can also curl with two arms. For that, push those thumbs through the window, grab it by the horns, elbows tucked in, core on, and curl. All the way in, all the way down. You can lean back a bit to get a bit more range. Do it nice and slow, nice and controlled. So again, that you could do that with double arm, one kettlebell. You could do it with one arm at a time, one kettlebell, or two kettlebells, two arms at a time. It's all great, try it out. So that's seated. You can also stand, and you can also kneel. So kneeling would look like this. I'm placing that elbow against the inside of my thigh, right here. Remember the gorilla grip. Nothing else is moving apart from that elbow joint. So elbow flexion and extension, nice and slow and you'll be getting some uh, rotation of the forearm as well. So that's seated, squatting, kneeling, now standing. That's to the side, and I'm slightly pushing those hips towards this side a bit, so I get some counterbalance. If you're staying straight, it becomes harder. You're doing a lot more work for your core, which can be great, but you wanna focus on those biceps. So, push that hip in a bit. Pull that elbow down. You always wanna support that elbow. So the moment you're not supporting that elbow, you're involving your shoulders, okay? So if you want to isolate more, now you're not going to fully isolate. I know if you want to isolate more, I said, I can already hear your bodybuilders think. Listen to what I'm saying. If you want to isolate them more, then take that shoulder out, okay? So now, I'm pulling down with the lats and really pulling it into my uh, obliques, my midsection here, and only working on the elbow flexors, which by the way are your brachialis, your biceps brachii at the top here, two heads, underneath your brachialis, underneath right here. So another thing you want to look at is angles, if you're going this way, you're working more on the outside of that bicep. If you're working straight here, you're working more equal here. And you can play with those angles and just look at where the heads are and feel how they activate and feel what contracts more. Okay, so that's standing, one bell to the side. Then you can do two arms. All the way in, lean back a bit, but at the hips, not at your lumbar. Fully extended.
nice and controlled. Okay, now I'm going to show many, many, many more curl variations. You can unlock those just by a simple share of this page. So go to this page right here, just type it in your browser, go.cavementraining.com forward slash kettlebell curl. Just go there, there'll be a page, this video will be there, and there will be free information. And then you can unlock the next video with many more variations and a lot more information. All you need to do is just share it on social media. So click that button and share it. So basically what you're doing is you're helping others, or well you're helping us to, to spread the information and you're helping others by seeing our information. Okay, so that's what you're doing, helping share. We like all our pages to be shared, our videos, anything we put out, it needs to be shared. If it's out there, it needs to be shared. And we appreciate that. So if you can do that, go to go.cavementraining dot com forward slash kettlebell curl and then unlock the rest of the information the, the link to the master kettlebell grips is there master kettlebell racking is also there there'll be links to workouts with some of these there'll be some uh, combos some awesome combos the titan combo is there um, we got a lot more combos that include the kettlebell curl you're gonna love them so squat curl press row we got awesome combos, check them out. So go there, see you in the next video. So if you're interested in growing those biceps, bigger than mine of course, then check out Master the Kettlebell Curl by Caveman Training. It's a great book with over 150 pages of information, photos, and it's about how to grow your biceps, hypertrophy, and also for strength, and even cardio. Yes, I said cardio, check it out. Uh, we're going to talk about complexes, uh, how to program, and a whole lot more. How to train safely with the curl, what to look out for. Uh, you're going to find over 20 kettlebell curl var variations in there. So go to www.cavementraining.com forward slash shop. Also available on Amazon. And get the book Master the Kettlebell Curl. You're going to be surprised what you can do with the kettlebell. Uh, the kettlebell is actually superior in a way than the dumbbell. If you don't believe me, buy the book and find out.